Our Devo is with Psalm 93. It'll be up on the screens today. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we love you this morning, Jesus. We thank you for another morning to gather in your presence, Lord. We just ask, Holy Spirit, would you just open the scriptures to us today? Open our hearts, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. We love you. We love you, Jesus. Psalm 93, the Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He is put on strength as his belt. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. The Lord reigns. He is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He has put on strength as his belt. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. Jesus, we come in this morning to your presence boldly, confidently, by your precious blood, Lord. And we just say that this psalm is true, Lord, that you reign, that you are king, that you reign in majesty, that you reign in strength, that your throne is not moved. It will never be moved, Lord. We just, we look at you as the king above all the earth. We approach you as the almighty king. You're almighty Jesus. You're robed in majesty. This morning, here in Orange County, we say you are lifted high above the earth. You're lifted high above this state, this nation, Lord. You are robed in majesty. You are clothed in strength, Lord. You're the king over all the earth, Lord. Yes. 
the Lord reigns. He's robed in majesty. The Lord is robed. He is put on strength as his belt. Yes, the world is established. It shall never be moved. You reign in majesty. You are clothed in splendor, Jesus. Your throne is high above it all, and your, thl- your throne is glorious. It's majestic. It's wonderful. You're clothed in splendor. You're far above it all, Jesus. You're glorious above it all. Your throne is established, Jesus. Your throne won't be moved, and it's glorious, and it's full of splendor this morning. Your throne can't be moved. Above it all, Jesus. Oh, your throne is established, though the world may shake. Oh, your throne is established. From everlasting to everlasting, you're king. You reign above it all, Jesus. from of old. You are from everlasting. Jesus, you are exalted above all powers, all dominions, all authorities. You are from everlasting. Before creation, your throne was established. Through every generation, your throne is established. For all of eternity, your throne is established and it won't be moved. We come confidently to your throne today, Jesus, by your blood, we say your throne is established from of old, that you are from everlasting and for everlasting, you will reign as a victorious king. We approach a victorious king whose throne won't be moved this morning. Your throne is established, Jesus. From everlasting to everlasting, you reign supreme. Above it all. Oh, you are high and lifted up. Oh, you are high and lifted up your throne. Oh, you are high and lifted up. High and lifted up, Jesus. You are high. Far above it all, Jesus. Splendor, you're on your throne this 
to everlasting you will reign as king your throne cannot be moved it will not be moved Jesus you are king above it all and it will always be that way we rejoice that you are king above it all and it will always be that way of the increase of your government there will be no end shakings through testings you will reign supreme your throne will not be moved and you will be clothed in a splendor in a majesty all your days Lord every aspect of who you are is clothed in splendor it's glorious it's it's majestic Lord we just say this morning you're glorious you're majestic as you rule on your throne you're full of splendor you're more beautiful you're more glorious on your throne high above it all than anything else in all creation. Oh 
he's put on strength as his belt. Lord, we declare, we remind ourselves of your strength, that you are powerful in every way. There's no end to your might. There's no end to your strength. There's no end to what you can do, King Jesus. We say you are not a weak God. You are a mighty God, clothed in power, robed in majesty. Strength is your belt. You have strength. You have power. You have might that you rule with all power, with all strength, with all might. You're a mighty king. You're a strong king. Your ways and your kingdom cannot be stopped. like you Jesus there's none like you Jesus established from of old you are from everlasting Jesus as you rule over the earth Lord we say that your kingdom will not be stopped that your kingdom cannot be stopped that your throne is established and your kingdom is ever expanding in the hearts of your people or we say your kingdom from everlasting to everlasting we have a confidence in the kingship the rulership of you Lord Jesus and we thank you Lord this morning that we approach a throne 
that will not be moved, that will not be shaken, that we can trust, and where your kingdom is established in greater and greater measure, Jesus, we rejoice in a king who sits on an established throne from generation to generation to generation to generation. Lord, nothing can stop your rule this morning, Jesus. The floods have lifted up, O oh Lord. The floods have lifted up their voice. The floods lift up their roar and mightier than the thunders of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea. The Lord on high is mighty. No matter what happens in the earth, Lord, you're stronger, you're mightier, you're greater. We remind our hearts, Lord, that no matter what comes to the earth, that you are mightier, that you are stronger than the waves of the sea, that you are greater, Lord. You're mightier, Jesus. You're stronger, Lord. You reign supreme, Lord, above anything that would come to the earth, the wars, rumors of war, Lord. You reign supreme, Jesus. You're mightier than it all, Lord.
Right now, there's only one on the throne. As we sit here in your presence, there's only one on the throne. There's no other power or ruler or authority. There's no other God that would take your place on the throne. Jesus, you reign above it all. It's established. It's settled. It's not going anywhere. And you rule in the strength of your majesty, Lord. We thank you, Lord that you rule, that you are the king above it all, that we have a living God seated high above it all, that there's no other God, there's no other power that could challenge your authority, your rule, your kingship. You reign above it all. You stand alone as supreme king over it all, Lord. You stand alone, Jesus. There's one true living God.
your decrees are very trustworthy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. Your decrees are very trustworthy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. On your throne, Jesus, we know that your word is trustworthy. We know that this word, this living word is trustworthy, Lord, and that you seated on your throne, holiness fills your house, Lord, that you are set apart. There's none like you in purity and majesty and glory. Oh, Lord, we thank you that we have a trustworthy word to guide us all our days. And we have a trustworthy king who is holy above all else, clothed in splendor and majesty. And it's this way forevermore, Lord. We rejoice in our holy king. We rejoice in our trustworthy king. Oh, Lord, we thank you that your word, your word endures forever, Lord. That your word endures forever and it's trustworthy, Lord. It endures forever. thank you for your presence this morning. We thank you for the way you're already filling this room today, Lord. We just ask Holy Spirit continue to lead us in Jesus' name. Uh, well, good morning, everybody. If you came in during the Devo moment, um, for the rest of this Greenhouse prayer worship set, we're going to go after Jesus together. You guys doing good today? 
good. Okay, can we stand to our feet? Every Tuesday, Wednesday morning, we go after Jesus together in corporate worship. I say this all the time, but the reason we do these greenhouse sets is it's not necessarily for us, it's really for, for Jesus. We're here to bring him an offering of our hearts and, and praise and worship. So when we come together and do this, um, even if we're a little tired from a late Monday night, thank you, Lord. Uh, we bring our very best, whatever that looks like. So we bring it not because of performance or striving, but we bring our best because Jesus is worthy of the best that we can bring each and every day. And so we're gonna go after worshiping Jesus for the next little bit. And then we're gonna jump into intercession in just a little bit. There's two things that are on my heart. Uh, before the war in Israel broke out, uh, I really wanted to pray for our Carry the Love um, uh, pre-tour teams. And we wanted to pray for Carry the Love. We wanted to intercede and clear the way for campuses. And then we also wanna pray for um, the war in Israel that uh, has broken out. So we're gonna do both of those things. Um, I'm not sure how long we'll give to each one, but before we do that, I know our eyes are already there after that Devo, but can we just put our eyes on our victorious King Jesus this morning? Every heart, every eye. Lord, we're coming before you today. Lord, in gratitude, Jesus, that we have a King who is established on his throne, that we are coming to a King who rules with all might, all authority, all power. We're coming with a confidence in who you are, Jesus. And Lord, we say it's our delight to come and worship this living King. It's our joy to come and bring an offering of praise to you this morning, Lord. Lord, as we begin to lift our voices, we say, Jesus, would you be blessed this morning? Would your heart be moved this morning? Would you get glory? Would you be worshiped? Would you be praised, Lord? Father, be lifted up today, high above it all. In Jesus' name, be lifted up today, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Oh, we love you, Jesus. Before the, before the team takes us, before the team leads us, man, it's so good to be with you guys. Um, if you're visiting from the community, we've got our new Circuit Rider experience. Uh, DTS started last week. This is week number two, guys. How was week number one? Was it awesome? I wasn't here for it, but I was excited to get back. I feel already there's such a hunger. And so even before the team leads us, we're going to let the hunger for Jesus lead us for a minute. So for the next 30 seconds for a minute, maybe you have never done this. We're just going to do what we call singing our own song to the Lord. I know the Lord's already done so much in eight, nine days. So for the next 30 seconds or a minute, I just want you to lift your own song of gratitude for how God has been meeting you even these first days, your own song of love to Jesus. Lord, we say we love you. We say we're grateful for you.
Oh, oh, oh.
telling you thank you. Let's sing that again for your blood. Oh, for your blood that washed me clean. Thank you for the cross, for the cross that set me free. Thank you. intercession. The opening picture when I saw we were going to pray for college campuses is I saw there was lights on campuses getting brighter and brighter and brighter. And the Lord kept speaking to me about revivals of prayer and worship coming to campuses all over America, all over the nations. And so we're going to sing this as if you were standing on another campus saying, thank you, Lord, for your blood that washed me clean. Thank you, Lord. I, there's going to be a revival of worship. So we're going to sing this out as a chorus of intercession on behalf of campuses, saying we're thankful, Jesus, for all you've done, for all that you are. So can we stand up? Can we lift this chorus up a few more times as an act of intercession, saying there's gonna be a revival of worship and prayer coming to every campus in America. Come on, let's lift this up. into intercession. I know you heard about it from Jake last week, but remember intercession is when you stand in the gap on behalf of others, praying God's heart and his will. We are wrestling for the kingdom of heaven to be established here on earth, that God's dreams, desire, his kingdom, his rulership would be established on earth. And so we have two things we're going to pray for today. The first thing that we're praying for today um, is carry the love, but I want us to focus in on, on prayer and worship erupting on college campuses. So Krista, if you could put up this first point. I really felt there was gonna be a spirit of prayer and prayer revivals across university campuses of the nations. And so for 30 seconds, we're just gonna go Korean style, which means everybody prays out loud at the same time. Koreans know how to pray. But we're gonna pray for 30 seconds. 
that every campus in America would get marked with prayer this semester, that there would be eruptions of prayer and revivals of prayer across campuses, that prayer would pave the way for the kingdom of God to break in on every campus in America. So for the next 30 seconds, every one of us, let's pray. You can put specific campuses, you can pray for every campus in America, but Lord, we are asking this morning, Jesus, for a spirit of prayer and for prayer revivals to come to universities all across America. Father, we're asking for an outbreak of intercession to come on young leaders in Jesus' mighty name, God. Father, we're asking that prayer would break out, Lord, in dorm rooms, Jesus, that prayer would break out, Lord, at Christian clubs, that prayer would break out in a fresh way, Lord, in Jesus' name, Lord. We ask that your people would be called to call on your name, driven to call on your name, Lord. We ask for a spirit of prayer, Lord. specific on this one that we're going to pray all together is I want us to pray that God would grip young people with his heart. Intercession flows when you get gripped with the heart of God. We're not looking for robotic prayers. We want our generation to get so gripped with the heart of God they cannot help but intercede and cry out for revival on their campus. So can we pray specifically that a spirit of intercession would grip young on fire leaders all across America on every campus. Can we pray for a spirit of intercession to follow this generation? Lord, we're asking, would you grip us with your heart, Lord? We ask on campuses all over America, God, would a spirit of intercession, God, begin to take over and break out, God, on campuses all across America in Jesus' mighty name, Lord. We're asking, Lord, would you grip us with a spirit of intercession, Lord? prayer point before we respond in gratitude. I feel there's something in gratitude because gratitude lifts our expectation that God is doing it and is going to do it. It fills us with faith. So the second thing, can you put that second point up there, Krista? We're going to pray for worship movements to break out. That what happened to Asbury last year would be a forerunner and that we would see worship flood campus after campus after campus, that the spirit of the Lord would only increase. What we saw last year would only increase and multiply across campuses. So can we cry out, lift our voice, thank him for what he did last year. We say, Lord, would you do it again in greater measure on campuses all over America, Lord. We're asking, Father, for a worship movement to break out on campuses that we would get gripped with the beauty and the glory and the majesty of who you are, Lord. And we ask that worship would flood campuses, unceasing worship, God, would flood campuses, raw, sinful, glory to your name, worship Jesus to flood campuses all over America, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name.
God, breaking out on campuses all over this nation, God, the nations of the earth, Lord, on every campus, God. Next thing we want to do, we want to turn uh, our attention on campuses now um, to God raising up laborers and gospel preachers, that in the midst of the spirit of prayer and worship, would God activate young evangelists like never before? Would we see the wildest evangelists of our days burst onto the scene? People that we say, oh, they're too far gone. How could it happen? No, we're going to pray Matthew 9 this morning. Um, for laborers to be sent and laborers to be activated by the spirit of the living God. And so we're going to sing a song and agree with this in just a second. But one more time, we're going just everybody praying out loud together. Your prayer, I'm telling you, these intercession prayers move heaven to earth. That our agreement in this room is, act. look at you, you're here probably because somebody prayed. So we're going to be praying that the Lord would activate young evangelists all across campuses in our nation 
So we're appealing to the Lord of the harvest. It's something he wants to do. We're coming into agreement with his heart. So every voice, can we lift our voice for a minute and say, Jesus, Lord of the harvest, would you activate young evangelists, God? Would you activate revivalists, God? All across our nation, God, we're asking for salvation to break out in fraternities, God. We're asking for salvation to break out in sororities, God. We're asking for salvation to break out in Cap Basil. We're asking for salvation to sweep through campuses. And would you set apart young evangelists, God? Would you set apart young revivalists, Lord? Would you set apart, Jesus, laborers, God, for the harvest on these campuses? In Jesus' mighty name, Lord. Would you set them apart, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, God. Father, we're asking as we sing this this morning, Jesus, would you set apart young men and women, God, on every campus, Lord, to carry the gospel, God, to carry it with fire and zeal and passion, Jesus. We're asking, Lord, for a salvation movement to break out, Lord. But we're asking for those that would carry the gospel, those that would carry the message of salvation, God. Let it break out on campuses in Jesus' name.
let it rain. Let your presence rain on campuses all over America, Jesus. Let your presence pour out on campuses all over America, Jesus. Let the spirit of the living God break out, God, on campuses all over America, Jesus. Open heaven over campuses, Jesus. Open the heavens, Jesus. campuses and college campuses both that we are going to cry out while she sings this over it that God would mark young revivalists on campuses all over America for one minute can we lift our voice and just ask God to mark young revivalists all over our nation father we're asking for young evangelists Jesus to get marked with your presence and your power Lord we're asking Lord in Jesus name for young revivalists Jesus to get marked with power Lord to be a house of prayer for all nations. And then Jesus quotes that in Matthew 21, says, my house will be called a house of prayer for all nations. And so what I want us to do is cry out for an establishment of houses of prayer on campuses all over the place, that this spirit of worship and prayer that we're experiencing this morning, we're asking for it to get established on campuses all over. It's something we prayed for before, but we're asking again, Lord, would you increase the spirit of worship and prayer by establishing houses, places of prayer, places of your presence on campuses all over America. Can we go one more round of crying out in this? I want you guys to get into groups of two or three right now. Get into groups of two or three all across the room. We're just gonna go one more round. I just feel we're not done on it. And then for the next two minutes, I just want you to cry out for specific campuses from your region, from where you're from. I want you to cry out for campuses that are from the place where you are actually from, that God would establish a house of prayer, worship, prayer, intercession on those campuses for the next minute while the band plays, while the team leads us. I want you guys to cry out for the next two, three minutes for specific campuses, a house of prayer.
Jesus. Establish your house, Jesus. Fill the meeting with your power, God. Like hearts, God. 
Father, we're asking for every one of these teams, Jesus, not just for open doors later on, Lord, but we're asking, would revival break out? Would a vision meeting turn into a prayer meeting, turn into people going to preach the gospel? Or we ask for all these teams, Lord, would it be sparks of revival everywhere they go, God? We ask for things to break out all across our nation, Jesus. Would you anoint every leader, God, with a catalytic breakthrough anointing, Jesus, where the gospel will begin to erupt everywhere they go, God. Oh, I just see it, vision meetings turning into prayer meetings, turning into evangelism moments. Lord, we ask, God, for a spirit of revival on every team, Lord. In Jesus' name, let it break out in the Northeast, God. On Ivy League campuses, let it break out, Jesus. Let it break out in the Southeast, God. Holy Spirit, we're asking, God, put a revival anointing, God, on every team, Lord, in Jesus' name. Man, let's just go 30 more seconds. I feel it, guys. There's something that is going to break out on these teams. Um, it's going to go far beyond vision and getting stuff done. I feel like the Holy Spirit is going to break out in revival power. So in our groups, one last prayer, and then we're just going to worship the last five minutes. But one last prayer. Can we just pray for real revival moments to break out where students get so gripped that it, they're not waiting for us to come. It just breaks out. Like we're just going to live as evangelists. And you guys can come join what we're doing on our campus. That's the dream is that it just starts to break out. So can we pray for a spirit of revival to break out on these teams when they gather with other leaders? Lord, we just ask God one more time, Jesus. We pound on heaven, Lord. We ask for a spirit of revival, Jesus, to break out, Lord, on all these meetings, Lord, when it's vision, when it's looking at what's to come, Lord. We ask that something would overtake hearts to say, it's time for Jesus movement now. It's time for Jesus movement here, Lord. Father, we ask, would you let it break out in Jesus' mighty name?
We just thank you, Lord, for meeting us this morning, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit, for leading us in prayer, Lord. We thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to be doing in all these campuses, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, God, that you are a Savior that is mighty, seated on your throne, Lord, releasing salvation, God, in Jesus' mighty name, God. We love you. We love you. We love you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, team. Really quick, um, I want to say this about tomorrow um, before I pass it back to Zach in the school. Um, I know we didn't get to pray for Israel today, but I didn't want to treat it lightly or flippantly. It really is burning in my heart, and I know in our community's heart to pray for the war in Israel. So uh, tomorrow, that will be the sole focus in intercession. I just didn't feel like we had enough time to really uh, get after it in order to honor the school and everything else. So tomorrow, we're going to pray for the war in Israel. We'll really go after it. Um, tomorrow morning in the greenhouse set, Yaz is leading. Um, but thanks for pressing in today. And Zach, how long of a break? Or do you guys take a break? Ten, ten? Ten minute, yeah, ten minute break. Thank you, team.